it's a pretty day out as in it's warm at least it's not raining the sun may not be out but i get to come outside and do some filming and i would rather film out here with you guys than in the house all the time hello everybody welcome to my channel my name's christy today's video is going to be a full day of keto breakfast lunch dinner snacks drinks everything that i consume you're gonna see. Hopefully this is gonna be a great way to give you some ideas so that you're not eating the same thing over and over. As a point of reference, and you guys understand, I have been doing a low carb, dirty keto lifestyle now for over three years. I have lost around 75 pounds and six months ago I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic. My main goal with staying low carb is to not have to take so much insulin. And of course I don't want to gain back all the weight that I've lost. So I'm glad to have you here. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that when I upload you'll know. Check out some of my other social media accounts. I'll have those in the description box. There's a Facebook group, TikTok account and Instagram. I'd love to have you over there. You're going to find additional content that you don't see here on YouTube. So while you're checking out the social media accounts that are linked in the description box, make sure you look into some of the discount codes that I can offer. That way you can save money when you order some of your favorite keto items. Anything mentioned in today's video will also be linked down there for you just to make it a little easier. I have some updates, so make sure you stick around for the snack and chat or sip and chat. I have no idea which one it's going to be yet. Okay, let's get started with today's video. Starting out my morning with the six units of long lasting insulin. I'm on the Traceva. Filled up the water bottle too this morning. I'm gonna try to get it in today. I have had a big struggle with water lately. So I'm gonna try to drink some of this and then have a new energy drink I found. Wait till you guys see this. What? This was at Walmart. Raging raspberry hibiscus. There's Mira. I still have bed face this morning. I wanna try the new Bang Energy drink, so let's give it a really quick taste. Okay, it reminds me of something else I've had. Gosh, guys, I seriously, I just woke up. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Is it my favorite flavor? No, would I drink it again? Probably. So the plan was to eat breakfast this morning, but I'm really not feeling hungry and I don't wanna eat when I'm not hungry. So I'm just gonna fast until lunch. I'm gonna take three units of Humalog with this meal. I have found that for me, insulin does not work immediately, even though it's fast acting. It takes about an hour and a half, two hours for this to take effect. I'm working on this with my doctor to try to find something that's gonna be a faster acting insulin for me. I have been trying some of the inhaled insulin, and this is what the little inhaler looks like. You open it up, you insert the little cartridge, breathe in deeply and hold it, and this works in about 30 minutes for me. Pretty much immediately I get that quick drop. The problem here is we don't think my insurance will pay for it because they don't even want to pay for my Humalog. Had a couple of pieces of chicken breast still left in the refrigerator. It was the thinly sliced. So all I did was put some olive oil in my pan, coated the chicken breast with the Flavor God Garlic Lovers seasoning. To the top of my chicken breast, I added some of the G. Hughes sugar-free honey mustard, about a tablespoon. Now I'm gonna add some cooked mushrooms, Fiesta blend cheese, temperature on low, and I'm gonna let this cheese melt. It's gonna be a version of the Outback Alice spring chicken. Also cooked up some Brussels sprouts, onions, and mushrooms for a side. All I used was olive oil and Flavor God's seasoning and of course pink salt on everything. I'm having water to drink. The sun is trying its hardest to come out. Okay, so this is gonna be a snack and chat. I'm taking my turmeric, I forgot to take it this morning, turmeric i always say it wrong these are the juice shots they're trader joe's brand i had found them at a grocery store near me recently for 33 cents so i have been taking these turmeric is supposed to be good for inflammation i'm doing everything i can i'm doing my part so let's go ahead and take this one there's nothing bad added into it like any additional sugars or anything this one is just a blend of coconut water turmeric lemon juice with added black pepper down the hatch i am trying to finish off my 
water I started this morning. I am horrible with water. We already know this. I talk about it all the time. It's not my favorite drink of choice, but that was one of the reasons I got this motivational bottle. And I'm having my snack, my macadamia nuts. You know I love me some macadamia nuts. My favorite snacks are Jello, chia seed pudding, macadamia nuts, pecans. Can't do cashews because they spike my blood sugar for some reason. Almonds. But I'm going to sit and snack on these. Oh, and what I should do before I even eat anything is do a blood sugar check. I may need some insulin. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, I wear a little continuous glucose monitor on my arm. That way I don't have to constantly stick my finger to check my blood sugar. Wouldn't it be nice if this also done ketones? That'd be really nice. I'm at 132. I should probably go take a unit of insulin. Back into the kitchen. Into my little diabetes drawer. I'm gonna take one unit. I'm back. The more I progress into this diagnosis of being a type one diabetic, the more insulin I'm having to take, no matter if I eat or not. So even on mornings when I'm fasting, my blood sugar is still high. And since my pancreas does not produce insulin, I have to be the pancreas and give myself insulin. I'm not gonna lie. There's no book out there that tells you how to be a pancreas. This is not easy. So recently I have come more to terms with this diagnosis. But now we got this other diagnosis that's going on where my lab work had came back and it was saying that I have another autoimmune disease. I told you in the last video, I gave a little update. I was going to have to see a specialist, a rheumatoidologist, rheum, rheuma, a specialist. I'm gonna have to see a specialist. And the appointment was for June 1st. They called me the very next day after that update video and said they had a cancellation. If I could be there in 30 minutes, the appointment was mine. I shuffled myself right out the door and um, did not learn any news yet. <laughs> they did a ton of lab work and said, we will not know anything for at least two weeks, maybe a little longer. So I will be back with an update when I know more. I learned this, which shocked me. The specialist said that my lab work could come back fine. And even if I do have another autoimmune disease, it could take years for my lab work to show which one or for them to help narrow it down, which is very discouraging. So that's my health update. I got no news, but I got my appointment quicker than expected. Thank goodness, because June 1st, that's forever away. So at least now we'll get the results back sooner. I had posted on the Facebook group too that Quincy had not been feeling well. Same issues as always. Got him on his antibiotics and his probiotic and little update on Q over here. He's also doing better. Now, every single time I say that about him, I feel like I jinx myself. Oh, and while we're at it, now it's focusing on my shirt. Let me say again, Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Pam. I love you guys. They sent me a ton of shirts from Amazon that are keto and low carb related. That was so sweet of you. You guys are amazing. I'm obsessed with this shirt. I'm not doing this just for fun. I started doing this because I wanted to help people. I wanted people to know there are other options and low carb and keto is a great option as long as your doctor says it's okay to help with weight loss. And now I am 100% convinced the past three years, past four or five years of my life have all been leading up to this. If I had not already been following a low carb lifestyle for three years, there's no way I would have been able to convert over. I know me. This has been a hard diagnosis. It's been a difficult transition, but it would have been so much harder if I hadn't have been doing low carb. So I'm thankful for that. And I'm also thankful that I took off, you know, the 75 pounds that I'd gained. Uh, so let's see, I had a whole checklist and I didn't bring it out here with me. I'll link the shirt in case you guys wanna go see it. I need to come out with my own merch. I wanna come out with something that sort of like unites us all, our own little team, go team, fist bump. But I don't know what, and I just, I'm, I'm not creative. 
if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Another thing that I'm going to link down in the description box, the mascara I use and the lash serum because I'm still getting daily emails, messages, DMs, comments. You guys want to know what mascara I use. I don't spend a ton of money on my mascara. I've been through loads of different ones. The one that I love the most, that doesn't flake, that doesn't transfer all over me and doesn't give me raccoon eyes, is the L'Oreal Unlimited. And I do not get it in the waterproof because I don't want a chance damaging or pulling out any of these precious eyelashes that I've worked so hard to grow. Only around $10 and I cannot find it in any stores. So check the description box. I've linked it there for you. It's over on Amazon and it's usually on sale. And I also linked the Revitalash Serum. Revitalash is how I got my eyelashes to finally grow. I used it every single day in the beginning, probably the first six months I did. In the beginning, my eyelashes were so long, I had to trim them, trim them people. Lashes so long, you have to trim them. They were touching my eyebrows. They were that long. Now, probably where I've been using it since 2016. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Now that I've been using it so long, and I think it was around the six month mark, I stopped using it every single day. So this tube lasts me about a year at this point. This is a six month supply. So worth it. There's lots of lash serums on the market and I did in the beginning try probably a handful of them. This is the one that worked best. Both of these are gonna be linked down there if you want to go check them out. But this is how I got my lashes. I'm super proud of myself. I sat here, only ate a serving size of my macadamia nuts and I managed to finish my water. Let me pat myself on the back. I struggle people. I struggle with that water. I just don't want to drink it. I need some flavor and some energy and some caffeine. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go. I probably turn this into a 45 minute long snack and chat, but I will see you at the next meal. Look at that handsome little boy, Quincy. He won't look at me when I put the camera. Quincy, you're stubborn. Quincy. He's just like one of my kids. Three more units of insulin and then I'm gonna start making this meal. Earlier in the week, I had meal prepped a lasagna using the Natural Heaven pasta noodles. They're just long, thin noodles. I actually had some left over. Let me show you what they look like. All I did was layer that Italian sausage, Parmesan cheese, some marinara sauce, garlic, and a few other things. And then I just stuck it in the refrigerator and I knew when we needed it really quickly, I could just throw it in the oven. There's what it looks like. It's just me and Chris eating tonight. Kerrigan's not here and Briley is not a fan. So this actually will make several servings and we'll have leftovers. Now with that, I'm gonna have salad and I also made some garlic bread. I showed that in a previous video. I'll link it for you. This is just tortilla shells, garlic butter, and then a Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese in the oven. There's several layers here and then just leave it in there until it's melted. And then this is the way that I cut it up into little triangles. So there's the layers in the lasagna, the bread, and the salad. And of course, I'm gonna be drinking some more water. Dessert tonight, I'm gonna have a couple of pieces of the two ingredient peanut butter chocolate fudge. The stuff is amazing and it's dangerous. You have been warned. I have a playlist that has dessert recipes in it. If you're looking for fudge and cookies, you might find something that you're interested in, but I'm in need of something sweet tonight for dessert. So this is it. If you've tried this, let me know what you think. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out with me today and watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.